interinstitutional aspect. Uh, I'm very glad that we have been able to find a good compromise and we don't kill substance by legal disputes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, now, Parliament feels like it has saved the, the White Book today. Mm -hmm. Please. Yes, um, when will this become effective? Basically today it is impossible to charge for external costs such as air pollution or noise and with this revision of the European Union Directive it will become possible. So member states who wants to apply the polluter space principle will be able to do that and that is a little revolution in the transport sector, that's very important. Uh, at the same time we manage also to secure that uh, member states will have to use these revenues to reinvest in the transport system and at least 15% of it have to be uh, invested in the trans-European network. And there is also uh, a transparency uh, commitment. Member states will also have to explain how high the these revenues are and what they will do with these revenues in order to create this more sustainable transport system. So it's a, it's a step in the good direction. Well, I sympathize a lot with those who feel this is not ambitious enough. We should do more. Um, but uh, we all have to understand that Europe uh, can only be made by compromises. And what we did today is a good compromise. It is an important step into the good direction because simply today, with the um, current directive basically, um, it, uh, the, the, the charge was limited to the infrastructure charge. You could not charge for more. In future, this will change. You will be able to charge, as a member state, also for external costs, such as noise and air pollution, and um, make a policy in order to reduce these external costs. So, uh, of course, this is not the end.